Southern Gulf is a pretty cool component of natural resource management in our region. We exist because there's demand from the landscape. Natural resources is everything that we all need to survive. Like every human on earth relies on water, on soil for their crops. Whatever it is that we're actually using the landscape for, that's the natural resource. It's a natural asset. Southern Gulf is a community-based organisation. Staff predominantly have a field role, uh, interact with landholders and local governments and a range of people in the community to extend information, to help develop projects, to help guide the direction of incentive funds that assists landholders and others take action on sustaining the condition of those natural assets. Sustaining that basic natural asset is fundamental to the long term of, of industries like agriculture. The beef cattle production industry is a really key component of what economic activity happens in the region. And a lot of those producers in the landscape are managing a native pasture system. Landowners, local governments, traditional owners, our job is to work with them and provide useful, proactive engagement education, good science, and provide incentives where we can, and direct those incentives to work with producers, with land managers on the ground as much as possible. It's very important, I think, uh, for every region to have a, some sort of group behind the scenes. It's about time that we start to get more people trained up, and that's where organisations like Southern Gulf can identify that issue and start getting people out in the field. And while they're there, that, that owner or manager is thinking environment. To increase production we need more grass, we need to look after the environment and Southern Gulf's a part of getting there quicker. The funding involved, it just helps you do more projects going forward and at the end of the day if we're looking after the grass that we've got, we're looking after the environment that we've got, we're taking care of our bottom line. Southern Gulf's involved in a a wide range of projects around grazing land management, working with landholders to improve the state of properties, whether it be on-farm infrastructure that allows better grazing management practices, water management, reducing the threats like weeds and pests. We also have some projects that are focused on biodiversity, particularly some of our rare and threatens like the Carpenteria grass wren and managing the spin effects through improving the fire management of, of those habitats. Currently we have projects on properties and, and local government areas of more than a third of the region and, and that's a pretty substantial footprint. Well, Southern Gulf, they've got the right people there to try and teach you and you can either take it or leave it, it's up to you. It's like people like us that are set up here and make an industry out of this flying helicopters up here, keep learning as, as we go and make it better for everyone else up in the country as well, yeah. They're open to trying to help you in any way they can. They bring in experts in specific fields that, you know, they can help you from anything from your weed control through to your erosion issues. I like the fact that, you know, the Southern Gulf particularly, they're, they're wanting you to guide your project as well. They're there pointing you in the right direction, but there's a lot that you can control in, in what it is and what you'd like to get out of it. So yeah, I find that you know really, really valuable on a lot of fronts. Southern Gulf region, it's a big contributor to the national economy with our industry. Mining, agriculture, both huge economic delivery industries and you know we need to continually focus investment back into the region just so that we can keep supporting those industries and ensure that our, our regional communities can access the same sort of support that other more populated urban areas might be getting as well. We all want the same things and by working with Southern Gulf and, and helping Southern Gulf to get the graziers and landowners involved, I think that they've got a pretty bright future.